Hi, welcome to Open Door Yoga. My name is Michelle. Um, this class is part of my Recover and Restore Yoga series. And today's class is focused on working out the kinks. So while it's a more restorative class, we'll be going through some really gentle flows to just help your body work through any stiffness or aches that it's currently feeling. We're gonna get started today in child's pose. So make your way onto hands and knees. And from here, we're gonna spread our knees about the width of our yoga mat, bring our toe mounds to touch, and then send our weight back over our heels. Start to get situated here, find any gentle movement that feels nice. And then with your weight down here, your hips down over your heels, from here, begin to fold at your hips. Excuse me, rooster. Fold at your hips and try to bring your forehead down onto the earth. If this feels like a very intense opening through your chest at the beginning of a practice, feel free to grab a folded blanket or a folded towel and bring it under your forehead just to bring the ground a little bit closer to you. As you settle into this posture, begin to bring awareness to your breath. Notice your rib cage expand up and out to the sides on your inhales. Notice that gentle collapse on your exhales. As you settle in, if you want to find some gentle movement from side to side, or if you're looking for a little bit more of an intense stretch, maybe we lift onto our fingertips. Take whatever feels good. We'll just be here for a couple more breaths. Let's take one more full breath in, full breath out. And then we're gonna ground down through our forearms just so we can lift up slightly and slide our knees in line with our hips. So both of our knees are pointed forwards. And then from here, sink those hips on back. Be here for one full breath exchange. Then on your next inhale, begin to send your weight forward Press up through your palms, ground down through the tops of your feet, upward facing dog, gaze can lift. And then exhale, drop your knees, send your hips back to our child's pose variation. Let's move with our breath. Inhale sends us forward, lifts our chest, open up through those collarbones. And exhale, drop our knees. Send it back. Feel that nice stretch through our full back body. Inhale, send it on up to up dog. And exhale, send it on back. Take two more at the pace of your breath. So if you have that awareness on your breath and you have these nice long inhales and exhales, Feel free to move as slowly as you would like. I'm gonna take one more here, one more time up to up dog, really pressing down through the tops of my feet, extending through those legs. Hi, rooster. And exhale, sending it back to child's pose. I'm gonna pause here in child's pose and allow everyone to arrive here. Take one more full breath cycle wherever you are. And then let's all make our way to hands and knees. So find that your wrists are under your elbows, elbows are under shoulders, knees are under hip points. You can tuck your toes or leave them untucked here, whatever feels most comfortable for you. We'll be continuing to warm up our spine through some cat cows. So choose that toe foot position that feels most comfortable. Bring a little bit of engagement to your core, a little bit of integrity. So we have this nice 
tabletop spine. Crown of our head is reaching forwards towards the front of the room. And then on your next inhale, begin to tilt your tailbone up, drop your belly down, pull your shoulders back to open up through your chest, gaze lifts, Bittilasana cow pose. Exhale, tuck your tailbone round through your spine, press away from the mat, crown drops, Marjoriasana cat pose. Now let's flow and move with your breath. So inhales are gonna send you into cow pose. Feel that opening through your chest, through your collarbones. And exhale will send us all into cat pose where we can feel that nice stretch between our shoulder blades. And as you flow here, find any extra movement that feels good. If it feels good to send your hips to one side or another, feel free to do so. Maybe we kind of dance a little bit with our shoulders. Send them forward, send them back. Today's all about working out those kinks. And so take any other movement that feels good in your body. You can even take some circles here, opening up one way and then sending it back the other. Let's take one more cow pose, one more cat pose. And then we'll all arrive in our nice neutral tabletop spine. From here, if your toes aren't tucked, let's all tuck them together. Begin to ground down through both of our palms, through all 10 knuckles. And then when you feel really strong, really stable, begin to send your hips back and up. And we're coming into our first down dog. So pedal out your feet here. Keep a little bit of that engagement in your core just to use those muscles to send your hips up and back. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. Shoulder blades are sliding down and in on our back body. Really ground down through those, the index finger and thumb of your hands. Maybe we find stillness here for a moment. And if our knees are bent or our heels are lifted, that's just fine. One more full breath in, full breath out. Then inhale, slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Again, take any movement that feels good here. And we're gonna exhale into our forward fold. So generous knee bend. Let the back of your neck relax, crown of your head drop. Maybe find a gentle sway from side to side if you want to take this elbow bind. If not, fingers can come down to the earth. That's just fine too. One more full breath in, full breath out. Then inhale, rise to half lift. So hands can come up to our shins. Crown is reaching towards the front of the room. Thighs are pressed back. Nice long spine here. Shoulder blades down and in on your back body. Feel that sensation in your upper back. Strong core to support our low back and our spine. One more full breath in. Then exhale, bend at your knees, forward fold. Inhale slowly, we're gonna stack one vertebra at a time as we rise on up to standing. And give yourself a nice shoulder roll here back as you arrive. Maybe take a couple if that feels good. Sometimes it takes a minute to arrive into standing after we've held a little bit of an inversion for a moment. So no need to rush. If you're feeling lightheaded, just take a couple cooling breaths, a few nice shoulder rolls. And then as you're ready, we'll make our way towards the front of the mat. So from here, choose the standing um, foot position that feels most comfortable for you. So maybe our toe bounds touch and our, our heels are V'd out an inch or two. Or maybe if you're looking for a little bit more balance, we bring our feet under our hip points. 
So take a moment to get situated here. And then on your next inhale, we're gonna extend our arms overhead, gaze looks past our fingertips. And then exhale, forward fold. Release those hands down to the mat. Inhale, rise to half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up. Sweep those arms overhead, extended mountain gaze lifts. Exhale, hands to heart, mountain pose. So we're gonna flow through that short sequence just a couple times to keep waking up our body, working through any stiffness that we're starting to feel in our back body, in our legs, maybe even up into our shoulders. So take another full breath in, full breath out, release those hands by your side. Then inhale, rise those arms on up, extended mountain. Exhale, fold at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, rise to half lift. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, slowly rise on up, sweeping those arms overhead, extended mountain. And exhale, hands to heart, center mountain pose. Let's go right into our last flow. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead, extended mountain. Exhale, hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, rise to half lift. Exhale, hinge forward fold. Inhale, last time, slowly rise on up. Sweep those arms up and overhead, extended mountain. And exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. So release your hands down by your sides for a moment. Check in with your body. Notice any sensations that you're feeling. Notice any differences that you're feeling in your body now compared to the beginning of the practice. And from here, we're gonna make our way down to hands and knees. So you can choose whichever way feels best. So maybe we do another flow through our extended mountain and down into our forward fold. Maybe we just bend into our knees, plant our hands and step our knees back. Check in with your body. Notice how it's feeling, notice what it's needing. And slowly make your way down here with me. As you arrive, let's do our quick check-in. Wrists under elbows, elbows under shoulders, knees under hip points. We're gonna keep our toes tucked on this side just for a little bit of balance. Because on our next inhale, we're gonna send our right foot forward and through. So our hands are framing that right foot. And we're gonna make our way into a lunge. So begin to send your hips forward and down. Open up through your chest. Maybe we press, we rest our hands here on our thighs and press to open up through our chest. If it's available to you, maybe we sweep our arms up and overhead. Take a few breaths here. Really feel that opening through your entire front body. Especially down through that left hip flexor, the front of your left hip. Let's take one more full breath in. And then exhale, plant your hands. Begin to straighten through your right leg. So send your hips up and back. Rock on your right heel into this um, single leg kind of splits or half splits posture. Right toes can begin to point up towards the sky. This may be a very intense sensation in your right hamstrings or your low back. So if you have a gentle knee bend in that right knee, that's just fine. Just try to avoid sitting down. We're keeping our hips stacked over our left knee. And imagine we're trying to sit on the wall behind us. Relax through the back of your neck. Allow gentle rounding through your upper back body, but try to reach your chest down towards that knee. One more full breath in here, full breath out. And now we're gonna flow. So inhale, we're gonna send it forward and down, open up into our low lunge. 
and then exhale, plant your hands, send those hips up and back into our half splits. So move with your breath. Inhales are gonna send you into that nice low lunge for that opening through your front body. And then exhales are gonna send you into this half splits where you feel a little bit more of that opening through your back body. Let's take a couple more here. So move as slowly as you'd like with your breath. Let's take our last one. So send those hips forward and down. Really feel this nice opening through your chest, widening through your collarbones. And exhale, plant those hands, send it back. Feel that nice, hopefully nice, maybe slightly uncomfortable sensation through our hamstrings and lower back. Release this posture, make your way back to hands and knees. And take a moment here to find a little bit of movement. So maybe we send our hips out to the right, gaze past our left shoulder. Maybe we take it to the other side, left hip presses towards the left wall, and we gaze past our right. You can move with your breath. Maybe you find a little bit of rounding in your spine as you travel from one side to the other. Take another breath or two here. And then as you're ready, begin to find stillness in this nice tabletop spine, engaged core, just a little bit, nothing crazy. And then as you're ready, let's step our left foot through so that our hands are framing our left foot. Begin to send those hips forward and down and then find that opening through your chest. So maybe we bring our hands up to our thigh and we can press against our thigh or if you're feeling comfortable in your balance, maybe we extend our arms overhead. Full breath in here, feel that opening through your front body. Full breath out, feel grounded. Ground down through all four corners of your left foot, toe mound of your right foot to help you keep your balance. Inhale, exhale, maybe hug your thighs a little bit to the midline to keep that engagement and keep your hips in this nice neutral spot. One more full breath in, then exhale, fold forward, plant your hands and begin to send your hips up and back, rocking on your left heel, left toes pointed up towards the sky. So we'll take a few breaths here to get situated and begin to feel that opening through our left hamstring. A lot of times if you, like me, have very tight hamstrings, um, and low back muscles, your body may want to try to kind of bail out of this posture. And that will look like your hips opening up towards the right or away from this stretch. So if you're noticing that in your body, be mindful and try to pull your left thigh bone back into its hip socket. And that's gonna help you keep your hips in line as well. Relax to the back of your neck. Nice, gentle rounding in your upper back body. One more full breath in, full breath out. Then inhale, send those hips forward and down. Begin to open up through your front body, arms extend overhead or to your thighs. And then exhale, plant those hands, send those hips on back. So let's move with our breath, a little bit of a flow here. Inhales are gonna send us into our low lunge for that opening through our front body. And exhales are gonna send our hips up and back where we feel that sensation a little bit stronger in our back body. Let's take a couple more here. Move with your breath. Move as slowly as you'd like. If your breaths are a little bit longer than mine, we will always have time the end of our flows to get caught up and on the same page. So last time into our lunge and hamstring stretch, and then we'll make our way back into hands and knees and take your time here again. Take any extra movements that feel good. 
And we're not in a rush. We're gonna move very slowly, very intentionally, listening to our body along the way and making sure that we're keeping our body safe and doing what we feel like we need today. As you're ready from here, we're gonna make our way to seated. So cross at your ankles, send your weight back, or maybe walk your body around rocking onto one of your hips to make your way into seated. You can face the long edge, the short edge of your mat, whichever is most comfortable for you. If you would like, and you have a folded blanket or a folded towel, you're welcome to bring that under your hips or under your sitting bones. And so what we're doing is bringing our hips a little bit higher than our knees. And sometimes that just makes it easier to find this nice upright seated posture, especially if you're low back or your outer hips are particularly tight. Let's take a moment to get settled here. Feel both of your sitting bones grounding down evenly into your towel or into the, into the earth, the mat. Find that slight engagement in your core. So we're using our core to help support this upright spine, taking a little bit of the pressure out of our low back. Maybe we give ourselves a shoulder roll back here to remind ourselves to just keep some space between our ears and our shoulders shoulder blades down and in on our back body. Crown of our head begins to reach up towards the sky. We're gonna to begin to create a little bit of length in our spine, some space between our vertebra. Full breath in here, full breath out. Inhale, let's extend our left arm overhead. Then exhale, plant your right hand on the side of your right hip. Bend into your right elbow and send those left fingertips over towards the right side wall. Nice neutral neck here. We're still grounding down through both of our sitting bones. So if you're rocking a little bit here um, onto your right, press into that, um, your right palm a little bit, straighten into that right arm just to help keep that balance, that evenness through both sides of your body. Maybe our gaze looks up past our left arm towards the sky, shoulder blades down away from our ears. One more full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, rise on up. And then exhale, we're gonna bring our left hand to our right knee, send our right hand behind. We're coming into a seated twist. So we'll be here for several breaths. On your inhale, send your crown up towards the sky, Really see if you can build as much space between the vertebra of your spine as possible. And then on your exhale, we're gonna use that space and from our core muscles, twist a little bit deeper. So you can use your left hand to gently guide yourself into these twists, but just try to avoid pulling with your arm. Your spine knows what its limits are. And so if we twist from our core, we're gonna keep our body a little bit safer. So full breath in, reach that crown up towards the sky, ground down through your sitting bones, and exhale from your core. Maybe we twist a little bit deeper. Take a couple more breaths here. If it feels good, you can close down your gaze, beginning to slow our body down a little bit. One more full breath in. One more full breath out. Maybe we twist a little bit deeper. Inhale, unwind. Bring your hands back to that comfortable seat. So bring them back here on your knees or on your thighs. And we'll begin to take it to the other side. So on your next inhale, right fingertips sweep overhead. Exhale, plant your left hand, bend into your left elbow, reach those right fingertips towards the left side wall. Check in with those grounded sitting bones, those shoulders down away from your ears. Maybe we turn our gaze up towards the sky. Take a couple full breaths here. Full breath out. Feel that opening through your right side body. Inhale, maybe feel a little bit of expansion in your right rib cage. Release your breath completely. And then inhale, rise on up. 
and exhale, begin to twist to the left. So right hand can come to your left knee, left hand's gonna come behind you, just for a little bit of support. You can even come up onto your fingertips if that feels good. And just like we did on the other side, we're gonna create space on our inhales. And from our core, we'll twist just a little bit deeply on our exhales. So on this side, as we keep our awareness on our breath, maybe we also notice our shoulders. If you're feeling like your shoulders are starting to creep up towards your ears here, or there's this rounding in your upper back body, maybe mindfully pull those shoulder blades down and in and create that space between our ears and our shoulders. A couple more breaths here. Keep reaching your crown up towards the sky on your inhales and exhales from your core, twist a little bit deeper. Take one more full breath in. Release that breath completely, maybe twist just a smidge deeper. And inhale, unwind, come back to your comfortable seat. If you haven't done so already, feel free to close down your gaze. This is where we're gonna end our practice today in a nice seated Shavasana. You're welcome to stay here um, as long as you'd like. If you'd like to stay here for a brief meditation, that would be a great time to do so. Your hands can um, stay palms down on your thighs, or if you want to take some type of mudra here, you're welcome to do that as well. Begin to come back to your breath. Maybe notice if your inhales or exhales begin to lengthen or change in some way. Maybe, maybe not. Begin to find stillness, not only in your body, but stillness in your mind. And that doesn't mean getting rid of all thoughts together, but maybe as you notice a new thought, acknowledge it and then kind of send it away. See if you can clear out some of the excess noise that we don't need right now. I invite you to stay here as long as you'd like. Thank you so much uh, for sharing this practice with me, for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.